Fellow Filipinos, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor and pleasure na ipakilala ko sa inyo ang isang tunay na Pilipino na buong pusong nagmamahal sa kapwa Pilipino, ang Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, President Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit down. Salamat po. Isang cabinet pa na yan pala si ano ang pugi namin na spokesman Sal Panelo. Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugari, Secretary Presidential Assistant for the VCIS, Lloyd Dino Dino and other members of the Cabinet, Senator Bongo, Governor Arthur Yap, Idol, no, I don't the idea. Negros Oriental Governor Ruel de Muglamo, Pamplona Municipal Mayor Janice de Gamo, Mga Hapon, Ma'am. Mga kauban ako sa gobyerno, akong mga minahal na kapwa Pilipino. Ah, uh, di otra man eh. Masiguro, two pages ay akong basahon. But before I read the repaired speech, I just would like to say that I'm happy that uh, you have uh, a good airport now. And it was to the effort, really, of uh, Arthur Tugadi. Si Arthur Tugadi, pati si... Uh, Biliar, Secretary, Isi Bebot, ito yung naglalaban sa achievement sa kanilang pagka-opisyal. Uh, Arthur Tugade, well, sinabi ko sa inyo, hindi eh, naman, di naman na ito makatingatan kay ang kugis sa tao, gisabayan sa iyang otok. You know, Tugade was our valedictorian sa law school. Uh, at that time, he was already working for the Delgado Shipping. He was already in an exit position. But uh, we were not surprised that pag graduate na mo, he went on to become a billionaire. Billionaire itong Tugade na ito. So, ito yung airport niya. And he is a slave driver in a matter of uh, people really working hard to achieve uh, an objective on time. Muna akong ikapanghambog ni mo na po si uh, uh, Secretary Andanar uh, si Bebot Belio, ang atong tiga bantay po din taon sa OFW. Ang uh, magdino si ang atong spokesman na kuya o kayo si Harry Roque. O kanay si Bong ba? Padong mga rin na siya, hangyong ang mga tao ing na siya na gusto kumudagan pagka presidente. Subong. O si Sal Panelo and Dibonero. Mone abogado sa mga artista. Abogado nagbuwag, nagkaliwaay, nag-away. Mone siya. He is the celebrity lawyer for 
di kanang mga high profile nga mga artista mga celebrity I am glad to join you here today as we formally inaugurate the development project here at Dumaguete Airport. The 252 million peso rehabilitation projects that we inaugurated today will include expansion of the existing passenger terminal and administrative buildings, asphalt overlay of the runway, as well as shoulder grade correction and construction of additional taxiways to allow the airport to accommodate heavier aircraft and increase its uh, passenger volume capacity. I commend the Department of Transportation, the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, and all our partners who contributed to the completion of this project despite the sudden lockdown due to pandemic. I hope that this project will inspire us further to provide better services and opportunities for our people and harness the potential of trade and tourism as the catalyst for economic recovery, particularly in the provinces. I assure our people that we will remain committed to finish all infrastructure projects on time, if possible. Within my administration, with the least inconvenience to the public and with the strict adherence to honesty and integrity. Corruption has no place here. As we do our best to revive our economy and give our people the opportunity to recover and lead better lives, I appeal to everyone to please continue observing the prescribed health and safety protocols, whether in our homes or in public places, especially transport. It is only when everyone's cooperation that a nation can effectively contain the spread of COVID-19 and triumph against pandemic. In solidarity, let us take further strides towards a better, more dynamic, and prosperous nation for everybody. Ako lang binisayo. Kaninta ng protocols si kini masunod. For example, kanang makita ni Mos Manila, Quiapo. How how can you? It's because there are so many Filipinos that are cramped in the urban areas. Gamay ra mang natuwa sa gawas. Eh, nandiyan lahat eh. Baski sa sakyanan, you cannot uh, insist on kawawa yung tao. So, pag isa-isahin mo lang tag tatlong pasahero, mamahal yung pamasahe. Hindi naman kaya ng tao. So, at the very least, mask on face shield for the maximum uh, protection. But uh, in other, uh, especially social distancing, I do not think that we can force our people really to... Because it's impossible. Just there are too many Filipinos in the urban areas than in the rural areas. And second, which is really the farthest of all reason, is that we have not been able to implement the family planning program. As I can remember, it was only President Ramos was a Protestant who really insisted on family planning. 
I am the second. Uh, Katolik ko ako noon, pero one of the irritants I amin mean, was really the dynamics of no, family planning, uh, talagyan mo ng mga contraceptives. Uh. Eh, ayaw ng simbahan eh. Kaya, collision course talaga. And uh, one word led to another. Uh, sabi ko, if you cannot honor the separation of state and church, then we will not be able to really to understand each other. So, niyan lang po ang uh, iiwan ko sa inyo. It's not because I want to fight the church. It's not be business fighting churches. But it's something to do with the higher policy of family planning sana. We are the second fastest sa increase in population. We are now 110 million. And I really hope that uh, we can do something about this in the future. Sabagay wala na ako. I will be free of that worry. But that, uh, you know, we'll pass it on to the next generation. Sobra talaga. It's high time that we review and... Basi sabihin mo kung social distancing. Pagpaglabas pala ng tao ng bahay niya, hirap na siya. He can hardly have the space to move around. So, hindi naman sa kukulangin tayo ng tao. But sana, we can match the family planning programs of government at least with our GDP. Ang, ang, ang ano nung halaga natin sa kaya ba natin? Well, that is another matter, but uh, that is uh, one of the things that I I have passionately pursued dito. I insist that itong mga sa gobyerno, they must follow the government regulation. If your religion does not allow you to participate in the program, then get out and find another space there in the office. Umalis kayo because there is a higher, a more crucial reason for a tamang-tama lang na tao na kaya natin pakainin. We are not rich and we are not that productive because of the climate dito manda sa taas wala. It's only Mindanao. Mindanao promises really matapos lang yung gera. But that's another matter. I need a more uh, time to elaborate what I'm saying. Let me just finish it by saying that I'm happy that you have a new airport. It's a nice one. And that I hope that it will promote the image at this and the tourism industry here. We heard about the desire. Salamat po.